Hello everyone, it's Sheila and happy Friday to you. I hope you all have had a fantastic week. I have had an okay week and I'm very glad that it's Friday. So we have been having casual, or I shouldn't say have been having, we just started, today was our first real casual Friday um, in lure of the rodeo season here in San Antonio. So I thought it would be appropriate for me to share with you what I wore today, work today for our casual rodeo Friday. So I'm sure you can see the necklace that I'm wearing. It kind of actually looks pretty bold there. So uh, yeah, I bought this a few seasons ago. I think I bought it at one of, either during rodeo or somewhere there around. Uh, this type of jewelry is quite popular here in, in the Texas area, especially during rodeo season. Every vendor and its mama has all kinds of different little cute pieces for sale. I don't know how well you can see this, but I really love all the colors that are in this piece because I can kind of wear it with pretty much anything and it will just kind of stand out. I love wearing it with a white t-shirt. It just really, really sets it off. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see the earrings that I'm wearing, but the earrings are, um, they do go with the necklace. They have the same stones as the necklace do um, inside the earrings. They have more or less the little small stones like the that's inside the pendant part there that matches the earrings. And then the earrings that are in my second holds are Juicy Couture and they're little heart shaped. I don't know that you'll be able to tell that they're heart shaped from the camera, but I got these actually this last weekend from Dillard's. They were uh, the 30% off of the clearance price. So I got these for a pretty good price. They were originally like $59, I believe, or something like that. And I got them for like $12. So I needed a second, uh, I needed a pair of earrings for my second hold. So I was really excited about that. And the t-shirt or the tank top that you can see underneath is just a white tank top from Aeropostale, nothing spectacular. And as you can tell, I am wearing an off the shoulder and this is not really meant to be off the shoulder. I like sometimes wearing the sweatshirts or finding the sweatshirts that are and buying them like in a size large so that they will be a little bit big and kind of droop off the shoulder. And then I also like the fact that they will come all the way down on my, to my wrist. I have very long arms so a lot of times it's hard for me to find out clothes that will come all the way down to where they actually cover my you know my entire wrist I know that's crazy but I don't know I just sometimes I just like that look so I was really excited to find that now the jewelry that I have on is um the turquoisey looking braces are just some I don't know jewelry from somewhere who knows where and I have on my Brighton bracelet and of course the bling bling I did show this in a haul like last year my husband actually got this from the Cowboys they have like a little vendor inside of the Cowboys dance hall and we were there one night and he bought me this bracelet and I have really really enjoyed wearing this bracelet I wear it as often as I can and of course my watch is just my um, Michael Kors my staple watch that I wear basically on a day-to-day -day basis I'm gonna go ahead and stand up so that you can see the rest of my outfit now again, I probably should back. Well, let me just stay here. So first of all, my belt, you can see that because it's uh, like sitting up in front of the camera there. But um, it's a bling bling belt. It is my Western belt that I actually purchased off a friend not too long ago. Well, I guess last year is when I purchased it. But it's just a bling bling necklace. And of course, the jeans that I'm wearing, you can probably see or figure out that they're the Miss Me jeans that I actually bought these at the rodeo last year. And they are such a comfortable fit. And of course, the sweatshirt, again, um, that I'm wearing is from JCPenney's. And that was a find that I got this week as well. It was on the clearance rack for like $9. So I couldn't pass it up. And I really, really like wearing them off the shoulder. So I got the large so that it would definitely work off the shoulder. And the boots that I'm wearing are some boots that I purchased at Target last or maybe two seasons ago. And I have shown these several times before. I think I showed them in a haul and then I may have showed them in an outfit of the day, but they have the tassels and it's a faux suede, uh, very inexpensive. I think I paid $10 for these boots, if I'm not mistaken. I know it was like some ridiculous cheap amount. These have turned out to be one of my most favorite pair of boots. I wear these every chance I get. And the Miss Me jeans that I'm wearing, they are the straight leg. So um, these just kind of really look cute. The jeans kind of come right over the, the boot and just kind of the little bit of the tassel hangs out. So it just kind of works really, really perfect. I'll insert a picture at the end of the video of the lower part of my uh, close up shot so that you can kind of see how well the boot fit or the jeans fit over my boots. I'm going to kind of walk back now so that you can kind of see 
my entire body and then so you can kind of see the outfit as a whole so i'm standing up and walking back so you can kind of get an idea like i said these jeans are super super comfortable so this is what my outfit of the day look today my miss me jeans my jc penny sweatshirt Hanging off the shoulder, my big bold necklace, and the ring. I almost left out this ring. How could I do that? My ring, I purchased this at Compass Trading Post about, gosh, maybe a month or so ago. And I had this necklace in mind. If you can kind of tell, the pendant and the ring kind of go together pretty well. And, of course, it's um, it's just, you know, just cheapy jewelry. I think it was like three bucks, I want to say. But I do coat all of my jewelry that's not sterling silver with clear nail polish it helps the longevity of the jewelry so it works for me i've done this forever but a close-up shot of my ring oops <laughs> and of course the rings on this hand james avery standard ring i always have on and then of course my thumb ring that i always have on so yeah, basically that was my outfit of the day. Very quickly on my face, I am wearing the HD Makeup Forever Foundation. I have on the color 173. I forgot how much I love this foundation. I had it tucked away in my drawer. It's a sample size. I wore it every day this week and I've enjoyed it. Now I have not done any touch-ups at all to my face from about six o'clock this morning. It's now seven o'clock in the evening. So if that tells you anything, I don't look like a grease monkey. All fairness, though, I don't have a lot of issues with my skin. I'm not an oily skin girl at all by any means. So I do have basically normal skin, but I think this might be a purchase. I am really, really enjoying the foundation, and it's an excellent color match to my skin. And when I can find that, I usually get pretty excited. So, yeah, I think I may be purchasing this. On my lips, I am wearing the Lart, um, Lart the Tarte Lip Surgeon, and this was from a kit that I got off of QVC. I don't know how well that's going to come off on the camera, but it's more or less a peachy nude color. And it says C861. I don't know. I can't find a color on here. I don't know if maybe they put a color on the box or not, but I'll give you. Um, but yeah, I may have to do a review on those because I got that little kit and I never really I was supposed to do an opening and I didn't do that. So maybe I'll do like a review. Love the lipsticks. A lot to be said about some of the other things that's in the kit, but another whole video. So anyway, um, hair, of course, you know, me and my crazy hair. I always, you know, going natural. I never know what it's going to look like. It pretty much looks almost the same every day, but some days a little more wilder than others. And of course, I always have my As I Am products in my hair that I freaking love. They work so well on my hair have truly enjoyed using those. But uh, yeah, so uh, basically eyes, the Naked Basic palettes, and of course, Perversion Eyeliner, all of that's always the same. My foundation is set with what, y'all? What I always have my foundation set with is my Estee Lauder Mineral Loose Powder, and my color is number four. Thank you always for as long as they make that. That is always going to be my setting powder from now on. I just freaking love it. I have tried to use other ones and I cannot. I just have to have that that powder. I just, it's just me. So um, yeah. So anyway, that was my outfit of the day. Thank you so much for sharing just a little bit of your Friday evening with me. I hope you all have a safe weekend. Be careful whatever your plans are for the weekend. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.